If you're tired of buying expensive packs for cars that are impossible to pull, be sure to check out my sponsor, MMOAN.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. Stop getting ripped off and get to saving. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. What's up everybody, it's your boy Tex. He's made some big upgrades in the last Panthers theme team video today. Knocking out some gameplay. Went ahead and changed up the defense a little bit to go ahead and get this to be optimal, right? So we got Peppers playing our right end spot. McCoy over here playing left end. We got Kevin Green. So if we got our guys out here blitzing, right? It'll be Peppers at the right end spot. McCoy at D tackle one. Reggie White at the defensive end spot on the left side. We got Kevin Green coming off the edge. We keep Lee and Shaq Thompson at the linebacker spot. I'm lying. It's not Shaq Thompson. It's going to be Keekly and Brian Burns because Brian Burns is an absolute monster. I hate his number though, bro. I might be weird, but let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below, right? So if a guy is out here wearing a number that just looks awful, I think that player's awful, right? So Brian Burns wearing 53, I'm like, that's a shrubby number. He must be a shrubby player. That's not the case. This dude has been killing it lately. But like when I see a guy wearing 90, like Peppers or 99, like JJ, I'm, that's, that's a really good car. That, that's a really good football player. So he needs to change his number. He should be in the 90s, especially since he has the same or cell number to Bruce Irvin, who wears 55. It's so confusing, bro. The Panthers wide receiver both were 10 and 12, which makes it hard to read on the field. And the defensive one, we got a great pass rusher, and Brian Burns wearing an awful number that's very similar to Irvin. I need these Panther players to change up their numbers. Uh, let's see how this defense goes, man. We got Peppers on one end, Kevin Green on the other. Mario Addison in the game. Why are you running the ball, bro? Why are you running the ball? No, don't do that, bro. Only run stretch. If you want to run the ball in this game, you got to run stretch. Yo, this team might be weak in league ready. I'm not going to lie. This team might be weak in league ready, bro. Like, my main team. Oh, God. See, I'm probably going to the right. What am I doing? I'm trying to talk. It's kind of hard to talk for the game at the same damn time. But, like, thinking about it like this, right? My main team's a 90 overall. That's really good. Really good. This seems an 87. This team might be ready, bro. Bro, bro. I'm I'm taking in the weekend lead this week, even though I'm not gonna be here. Alright, touchdown. Oh god. <laughs> I had to get rid of the ball quickly. I had to touch down the square there, but geez. No play action. Alright, but we got time. We got time. Oh, whoa, no, no, no! I <laughs> I thought he was gonna do an end route. I didn't know it was a double move type of in route. That was just a bad read. Dog, McCoy has run stuffer. I, I don't see him in the backfield making plays on, on, on the run. Dog, McCoy, if you got run stuffer, bro, you can't be getting pushed back that far. Like, make a play. All right, this is clearly a passing down, so let's go to pass two minutes. Watch on Luke Keekley. Watch eight and nine come across my middle. Told you. My up. Oh. Burn, burns, burns, burns. What are you doing? I try to pass him off, bro, but when you got bad teammates, that's what happens. It's my corner out. Let's go. Hit. There it is. Hit stick. Need enforcer on you, man. He's leaving the pocket, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my man Peppers out here. There's the sack. See, he wants to make the adjustment, man. Now we get to the quarterback. Oh, you shifting to the wrong way, bro. This is a screen. This is screen. We spin. Good run, good run. Oh, he got it off. That's, he got it off still, bro. Gunslinger for the win. Got to come away points this time. No more turnovers in the red zone. Draw play. McCaffrey's in the end zone. Just too elusive. He's just too slippery, baby. I need to get a jersey. I need to go buy me a run CMC jersey. Run the ball here, man. Dog. Why is the... Does the run stopper ability work? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. So, look, it's active. Quicker block sheds and tackles while engaged by run blocks. But like, if he runs the ball, McCoy is just not doing anything. Get back here. Get back here. Run the ball here, please. Up the middle. Nice little trap play. McCoy got cleared out. That ability is broken. I want a refund. 
So clearly he's not running the ball here. Dog. <laughs> Just eating right now. The screen. Good blocking, too. He's going for it on fourth and 14. This is the game right here. You don't get it. He's probably going to quit. Nah, nah. Game number two, see if McCoy can stop the run this time. Dog man got the slowest big in the world. <laughs> Guess this is the type of matchmaking you get when you don't really play head-to-head -head seasons much. All right, McCoy, run stuffer, nothing. That is a bad ability. <laughs> like, the more I'm looking, I'm like, he's not even, like, disengaging. Like, if he was shedding, all right, cool. The ball's not being ran to you, so therefore, you're not really making a play in the ball. But he's still engaged with people. Holy bleep, that ability is trash. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> Got a third and four. I assume he's running the ball again, so we're not going to shift any linemen because some of you guys might be saying, oh, Tex, you're shifting him. That's why he's not making a play on the ball. He's going to stay playing over the center. And let's see what he can do for us right now. Double drags, and that is fourth down. What you going to do? I don't like this decision one bit. You know why I like this decision? Because I'm about to impress the hell out of the number 10. I'm about to mush him. About to mush this man's base Eagle Steam team. It looks like he got right now. He ain't going. He ain't go. What the? That should have been a drop. Are you clocking me too, Mr. Gaming? Oh, nice RPO. That was, I, I forgot those were in the game. Man, you know, he got a budget Michael Vick. I, he moving the ball on me pretty effectively. I got to get a pick. I need somebody make a play, bro. Somebody make a play for you, boy. I spent all this money on this team. Y'all got to make a play for me, man. And he really is true-clocking me. He really is true-clocking me. Oh, finally! He runs stops and makes a play in the back. Oh, not the backfield for a game of three. Because, again, that ability does not work. That's a man coverage right now. Let's bring Mike Adams a little bit further in. There we go. Get back there. Let's go. Man worked good right there. Got a third and long right now. Blitz gonna shade outside. Gonna move Mike Adams close to the line up right there. He's gonna send McCoy out on the route. I'm gonna watch him with Brian Burns. Nope, McCoy's blocking. Drop. What is going on? Like, he's getting. My guys are there, but they're just like not able to react. <laughs> like, my guys are there. They're just not reacting to. The contact that is going on right now. The equalizer is full of force right now. No, McCoy got pancaked. McCoy got pancaked! If he gets this first down, I gotta start using my timeouts because he's gonna keep two clocking. Good front. I'm just. This is bad, bro. <laughs> I cannot get off the field to save my life right now. I'm trying my best, too. I could be blitzing. Honestly, I could be doing a lot more. Good tackle there, Kevin Green. McCoy is still fighting with his blocker. Just watch McCoy. All I need you guys to do is just watch McCoy. Just watch the guy in the middle. He is terrible. Terrible. Oh, no. I can't do anything. Bruh. My opponent had a seven-minute drive, basically. That's, that's wild, bruh. That's why. Oh no, might get picked here. Even though, <laughs> of course, of course I get picked there. Of course, can we tackle please? The ball would be kicked up. That is unlucky. That ball did not go where I wanted the ball to be thrown. I wanted to be thrown more to the open side of the field, but my receiver would kick the ball into his defender's hand. Yo, this game legit might prove the equalizer exists because like this is a wild one right now. Oh, brother, nobody open right there. And now we got second and 14. We're at the four-yard line. This is not going well. Nobody was open there. I tried to get the ball, but yeah, yeah. We are struggling hard right now. 
can take that. All this guy's doing is sending five. That's all he's doing. That time he did it. So, the turn. All right. Come on. All right. Thank God we got the catch. Because that, I'm not trying to throw the ball that deep. I was trying to throw it sh shorter than that in this car, man. He just threw that route where he wanted to. Help me out. All right. Let's keep it going. That's a big play right there. Big play. All right. So, he's not sending five. He's only sending three. Except for my two guys can't block one of his guys because that's Madden for you. That's cool. All right, he said three. I'm sending four, but, like, we can't get to the quarterback. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's all right. It's an uphill battle at this point. He has the juice right now. I got to steal it back. I pressed the wrong button, but we got the completion. I like the ball. You ain't ready. I like the ball. You ain't ready. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Big big play. Big play, bro. We just trying. We trying the ball, bro. Let's go to Calvary. There we go. First down. He's playing a lot of cover three, which now might be cover two with two safeties high back there. What you got for me? Not to go the ball away because I forgot. You're not Steve Young. <laughs> right there. That's a hot one. There we go. There we go. Ian Thomas. Now we are back in this game. So he's going to start running the ball now with Chew Clock on because he knows that's the only way he can basically win this game. Let's go, guys. McCoy, can you get off the block? You guys might be getting sick of me yelling at Joe McCoy, man, but when you spend 1,250 training on the ability, you kind of expect it to work. Get cut blocked. My man got cut blocked. Don't buy that ability ever. All right, so you know he's going... To the drag, he's blocking his running back. You know what the dealio is going on here. Drag on 84, and he's going to go to the end route. I'm hoping he stays in the pocket, though, so I can... He... Dog, that is an amazing... I don't know what he's doing. Why is this guy just stopping? And my guy behind him not doing anything. That should have been a pick, but I thought my guy had him covered perfectly. I would like to know. There it is. Cool, cool. Good stop, Luke. No. Got the tackle. Cool. I was worried about going for the pick. Got the tackle there. What you got for me right now, bro? What you got? What you about to cook up? I'm blocking. I'm there. I'm there. Finally, we get our first sack of the game. Thank you. I thought Dante was about to sell me. I thought he's about to just run completely too shallow <laughs> and give up that completion why do i go for the pick you know why i'm afraid of going for tip passes you can tie this game up or take the lead god what is what are you doing dog i'm not doing none of this throw the ball away he kept moving <laughs> i was like can you just sit still so i can maybe find somebody nope i'm gonna keep rolling around and i'm gonna screw you oh that scared me bro that that was scary. That was scary. Oh, look at that patience. A little juke inside. We're gonna get the block right there. We get this touchdown. Look at that. Y'all say I ain't got stick. That was that was pretty sticky right there. I'm so worried he's gonna run that wheel route because I'm in man coverage and I don't think shading over top stops that from happening. So we just gotta hope he doesn't run a wheel route. I hope he doesn't want to real well, but he does. He throws the corner out, and Dante Jackson's there with his crazy jumping to get that pick. Good game, gamer. You gave me a hell of a game right there. I have no idea why it was so close because the overalls weren't even even, but that's what people say when you say scheme over team. He had a really good scheme with running the ball, the chew clock, as well as everything else that goes in it to potentially get you frustrated, flustered, and not have a good chance to, you know, make smart decisions because you're down with, like, not much time left. And he got 10 points out of that first quarter, and after that, he got no more because he got to make the adjustment, man. He's got a blitz. Like, you can't rely on, on common sense to win Madden games. Like, you send for two of the guys with abilities against bad offensive linemen, you would think you would get sacks on the quarterback. But no, that's not the case. You got to send six because Madden – is kind of a trash can of a game but that was a good game though really good game really fun hope you guys have enjoyed that was a pet the steam team Jerry McCoy run stuffer is a trash can 
And I'm so glad that I really didn't put Enforcer on him because he made literally no plays. He made not a one. Hit me like. Hit me like. Hit me like. And I be like. Say money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down play. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns, now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.